Ghana has done it again once more guys. Ghana has launched a groundbreaking space science policy that is aimed at harnessing space technology to propel national development. Do you know what this space technology can help us manage in the country? Do you know what it's going to do to Ghana? Without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Let's watch these few clips to understand what is really going on in Ghana. When I tell you people that Ghana is global, a lot of people tend to not understand me. But this is just it. Let's watch this video. Then we'll come back to the video and react on it. And please don't forget to like, share, comment on the video, guys. Shocking facts about ghana did you know that in 2017 three university students at the all nations university in kufuridua built and launched ghana's first satellite called the ghana sat one it was launched into space at the international space station the project took two years and cost around five hundred thousand dollars these three engineering students benjamin bonsu ernest mate and joseph Quenza, made history in ghana and the project made the all nations university to become the first private university in africa to launch a satellite into orbit the satellite took images collected atmospheric data measured space radiation and transmitted uploaded audio and it deorbited on the 22nd of may 2019 catch on the next country for the first time in 105 years cape town south africa is making history as the first place on the african continent to host the international astronomical union general assembly the forum is the largest global platform for astronomers scientists and researchers to discuss advancements in astronomical research and foster international collaboration bringing together more than 2000 experts from 82 countries joining this year's forum is a research scientist at the, the Ghana Space Science and Technology, Technology Institute, Dr. Naomi Asabri Frimpong, who tells Joy News that the summit will make astronomy more accessible to the African continent. Um, at the IAU, we see a lot of um, young African scientists here presenting their work, talking about collaboration. They are now they are being exposed to the global community, where they are also here to show what they do and where they have. Um, plans to partner with Africa. And so this IAU conference is a great opportunity for to make astronomy more accessible to, to Africa and also to the students and, and young researchers who are in this field. Many African countries have all the hope that given the right resources, they could advance their space technology. This includes the Ghana Space Science and Technology Institute, the first space exploration and astronomy agency in Ghana, which hopes that it could do more in the field and possibly fly a rocket to space to the International Space Station one day. Now that's plan to go to space. However, we'll need a lot of investment in space. Moving to Africa's ambitions in space, space technology plays a crucial role in every country's socio-economic development and stability. It looks like Ghana has recognized the importance of that and now wants to capitalize on it. Ghana has officially introduced its national space policy with an aim to harness the power of space technology and leverage it to propel economic growth, enhance national security and ensure sustainable development. The new policy, which was approved by Ghana's cabinet in March of 2022, would also pave the way for the establishment of Ghana's space agency to coordinate the development of human capital and infrastructure. While launching the policy, the Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Ophelia Hayford, has emphasized that the new policy would address the gaps in its existing space program and that the space technology usage would be well coordinated, standardized, regulated and sustainably managed.
look at the development that is coming into ghana a lot of developments are being implemented here in ghana and when i tell people that ghana is fast developing and let me get this straight here i'm not in any way saying ghana is a perfect perfect country because the people of ghana still want more for their country they don't just want to be like this they still want to develop more than this and that is the reason why i love those people i love Ghanaians because they don't still want to remain where they are yesterday they want to move forward and i just hope uh, every other african country can emulate this especially from my home country and i believe they are going to do the same thing because right now ghana is now the talk of the town ghana is now a country that people are using to set examples for other african country see guys ghana is fast fast developing and that is the reason why you see a lot of investors are coming into ghana to invest their business they are bringing back their businesses to africa and most especially to ghana because a lot of things are going in there in ghana here they have constant electricity right now they want to bring up to help enhance the economy it will help enhance the economy well that people can be able to come in here and invest so when we talk about ghana as a country we beyond that it's small size because they are doing marvelously well because a lot of people will say oh ghana is small ghana doesn't have money ghana is poor ghana is a jungle and a whole lot of things but there are developments that are coming into this country every day that people do not know about people do not make the research about it they do not even want to know because in their mindset it is already telling them that ghana is a small country so they are not rich if i begin to list the things ghanaians have or ghana as a country has in their economy apart from gold they also have other resources that generate money for them so ghana as a country is blessed the people here are amazing the governments are trying their best as much as i'll keep on saying the african government are corrupt yes all african governments all of them from the beginning to the end from my home country to the least of them they are all corrupt but we still have some leaders that still have sympathy for the people that still have this humane mind for the people to you know to give them things that they want people are paying their tax they are seeing the results of the tax they are paying that is how to know a country that is doing so well there are countries that you pay tax from january to december you would not see the results of the tax you're paying for you would not even smell anything they're using your tax money to do but here in ghana at least we are seeing something we are seeing something that development is coming into the country but still yet they still want more Ghanaians to say no you guys are not doing enough our tax money is not being used properly that they still want the government to do more but kudos to the Ghanaian government kudos to the people of Ghana you guys are doing absolutely amazing when it comes to developing your country if you watch this video to this point please don't forget to subscribe to the channel thumbs up the video please let this video get to 1k likes like this video turn on the bell notification to get notified whenever i post amazing content and please don't forget to share this video with your family and friends thank you for watching if you're my returning subscribers may that see to all those that just seen this video for the very first time aquaba welcome to the family see you guys in the next one bye